What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. We are in Miami and I'm following my buddy Esteban in this absolutely beautiful one series BMW. From the outside, it looks like a stock 1M, but it's far from that. It's basically a E92 M3 merged with a 1 Series, merged with a 1 Series race car. So it's like three cars into one, and they've made this just absolutely amazing street car. And just the sounds it makes, uh, and how stock it looks, really, really has impressed us. We're gonna actually go to a shooting location to shoot it. We're following it right now. We're just kind of enjoying the noises from it. Sounds so good. What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. I got a very special car here. Looks stock, and that's kind of the point of this thing. Uh, it's built by the guys at Masterclass Automotive, and oh man, they knocked it out of the park. But the creepy guy standing back there is my buddy Esteban. Say what's up. Hey, thanks. I'm, I'm creepy, but you're, you're a local car creep. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Good, good, man. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for bringing this thing out. It's uh, one of those things where it's like an undercover sleeper, I guess? In theory, when you look at it, yeah, but then you turn it on and it's obvious. It just gives it away the second you turn it on. I kind of filled in the guys a little bit on what this car is about. Just quickly, it's basically three cars in one, right? Yes. Right now, what you're looking at is the culmination and the uh, beautiful Frankenstein of an E92 M3, a 135i, and a 135i uh, M Sport race car, which had um, factory BMW 1M body panels on it. Because it's a 135i, it still has a sunroof, 1M bumpers, 1M rear bumpers, 1M trunk, mirrors. Carpets are actually 1M as well. All of the 1M parts that make a 1M different than the 135 is on here. Yeah, as far as the exterior is concerned, the exterior is, is it's a 1M. The only right. thing is that it has a sunroof instead of the, the, the slick top that Got the 1Ms it. usually came with. So then, are these 1M fenders? Yes, they are. Front and rear? Yes, correct. So did you guys have to get these brand new from BMW? Uh, they were ordered brand new from BMW for the race car that they were taken off of. The race car was barely ever used, really. So there, there were brand new fenders, you know, not a single scratch or dent in them. Um, so they're stripped off that car, put onto this chassis, and then factory welded. So all the welds that you see inside the car, if you were to strip it, are exactly where BMW would have their welds from the factory in Munich or in Leipzig, for this example. Okay, so let me get this straight. All right, <laughs> it's 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 a lot to take in. All right, so yeah. from the outside, this car looks exactly like a BMW 1M, but you can tell something's off because it has a sunroof, right? Yes, and also because it's not Valencia orange, white, or black, it's actually San Marino blue. Okay, so did this blue ever come on a 1M? I mean, I've, I've heard of, of like paint to sample 1Ms, so I think there's a green one in Europe, like a, like a, I think the last one ever made was a lime greenish one. Right. San Marino blue wasn't an option for the 1M, but I'm pretty sure if you went through the BMW program of BMW individual, you'd be able to spec it with this color if, if you know, it's a, it's a period correct color. Okay, got it. So chassis was donated from a 135. All of the body parts that make it a 1M is from a 135 race car with factory 1m panels on it with anyways. factory yeah. 1m panels mm -hmm. but the drive line and so much of the thing that makes this special yeah is from a e92 m3 correct manual yes so let's get it out of the way pop the hood as you can see under the hood we have a factory fit and finish e92 m3 uh, entire drivetrain swapped into the car 
Um, that includes all brain boxes from the car, the ABS modules, the EDC for the suspension uh, works on the car, MDM mode on the actual uh, steering wheel works along with the power button that would come in the M3 on the, on the transmission tunnel, has been relocated to the center console in, uh, in the one series dash, and it's a OEM fit and finish, along with front and rear subframes, diff, uh, axles, brakes, uh, pretty much everything that is from an M3 is in this car, just embodied into what started off as a 135i shell that has now been converted to a 1M body, pretty much. It's a lot, it's a okay, lot. Okay, so yeah. this is so fit and it's it just finished so well. So like, where did you guys get this stock airbox? How is it that this looks stock? Well, thanks to the genius Ronald at Masterclass Automotive, we were able to go ahead and, and commission this project uh, at ASG Miami to have him build this car. He, uh, he pretty much made sure that everything fit and if it didn't he would you know heat up the plastics and make sure that they were at a moldable temperature to go ahead and remold them and rearrange them if need be you know if there's any sort of custom plastics that were made actually uh fun fact this is completely custom that he made like he cut it out for us uh the heat shield um he also cut out where the mic the cabin micro filters would be mm -hmm. um you know as you can see there's still like minor details like the the washer jets that are still they're not covered they're still exposed so we were able to just, you know, make a little bit of room here. We really went and paid attention to every single detail, like as much as possible. Right. From the Akropovich tips as well that are carbon fiber. But it's actually Akropovich full exhaust? Uh, so no, the, just the tips are, are, are the Akropovich mufflers. Um, we have the first cats, but resonator and everything else is just straight back. Mm. So it's on stock, it's stock headers too. So it's, what it's, about the wheels? So the wheels came off of an M3, if I'm, not mixing up because there's so many BMWs out there, man. Uh, the ZCP wheels uh, from the E92. So they're the 19 inch compact wheels, I guess you would say, uh, except we just smoked them to a darker color to go ahead and just make them not stand out as much with the, with the really bright silver. Beautiful color, but I feel like to set, you know, the undertones of the blue, it kind of like gives it a more menacing look, more sporty look as well. And since we are BMW fanatics, um, we actually went ahead and painted the, uh, the calipers in Estoril blue from E36s. So every single detail of this car is oriented pretty much to pay tribute to BMW. And it is the 1M that was never made, the 1M the way it should have been made. That's what we argue. That's what some other people in the forums argue. Um, and it's, uh, it's all pretty much, yeah, like I said, it's all factory finish. I mean, you can't really... So, okay, so, so where are the actual brakes from then? E92 M3. So these are E92 M3 discs and calipers um, that have been adapted to the car as well, front and rear. The, uh, the wheels are from the E92 M3. We have a five mil spacer just to go ahead and fill up the gap and we have some lowering springs as well. But like I said, the suspension uh, is also from the E92 M3 and it works uh, as far as the EDC is concerned. So you can have the different uh, suspension modes and it will actively you know, adapt to the road uh, and you know, either get comfortable or get a lot stiffer depending on how you're driving. So this is kind of one of those builds where you guys really went out of your way yeah. to <laughs> do as much as you can to make it look like you didn't do anything at all, mm -hmm. right? Pretty much, so yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's from, from just like look at a glance from the outside, it just looks like a stock 1M, you know? And it's like, oh, uh, something's a little bit off, whatever. So let's ch check out the interior. You oh. even went as far as to have this ugly cup holder that all the 1Ms have, huh? Yeah, yeah. So the difference between the 1M and this one, for example, the 1M comes with this uh, little trim here in Alcantara with Valencia orange stitching. Um, I mean, the carpets have the Valencia orange stitching on them because they were, uh, they were used from another 1M. So they are used uh, carpets, but we just made sure that it was as correct to the car as possible. You know, black headliner came on the M Sports. Um, the interiors from the 135i M Sport. Uh, the seats themselves are from the 135i M Sport. But when you sit in these and then sit in 1M seats, it's the same thing. Literally, the only difference is the M logo is not embossed. So and this magical cluster here is from the E92 M3. Works perfectly fine. Wait, how did you actually fit it in there, though? Well, uh, if you're asking me, I wouldn't know how to fit it in. But <laughs> if you ask Ronald, <laughs> he, uh, he had a lot of, of trial and error when it comes to, uh, to getting the fit and finish to look as OEM as possible. It looks completely stock. Yeah, the adaptive R red line works. So when it's cold, it'll be up to, you know, 5,000, 6,000, whatever. Um, and then once it heats up, it lowers. It's a lot lighter than the E92 M3. Though. Yeah, and you feel it feel it a lot. I've driven DCT and manual E92 M3s. It's a big car. Me coming from E30s, uh, it's a big car for me. Uh, so that's why I'm not a huge fan of the E92 M3. But I knew that that engine in anything else would be a world of a difference. I mean, if, when it was in, basically it was R&D'd with the E46 GTR, 
or GTR LM car that they had, which is a V8 and it was insane. Um, I knew that that car had a lot of potential, especially because in the E39 M5, they had the V8, but it didn't really rev out to eight grand. This car is borderline Formula One revving, well, as close as you can get to Formula One revving V8 um, with a manual attached to it. There's so. just, there's something about that four liter V8, which I really enjoyed following the E92 race cars, actually. Yeah, uh, they sound when amazing. They were, when they were racing in IMSA, yeah. this kind of honestly reminded me of that exhaust note. It has a very individualized tone to it. <laughs> when you're flooring it, when you're flying by us, yeah. it's just like, bump, 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 like you could feel it and you could hear it and it's just yeah. so crisp versus a big, burly, American V8. Nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Those but things are torque animals. High revving four liter V8 is, it is just so the way cool. to go for a small chassis like this. Very, very, very cool. Thank you so much for showing us. No, this thank thing. you for, for, for checking out the car. It's uh, awesome. So, um, is it possible that I can drive it? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to drive it, yeah, sure, you can drive it. You can drive it. Uh, Scumbag we'll just... to the max. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Giancarlo, if you're watching this, um, Larry crashed it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, yeah, I'll, I'll let you take it for a spin. Okay. I mean, I'm oh, wow, it's it's really... Uh, tame. Yeah, right off the bat, like, the clutch is very, very... Um, factory BMW. Very factory, very easy. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've moved maybe 50 feet, and I already feel like that it's something special. Uh -huh. It's pretty cool. The steering wheel is really nice and thick too. It actually one M steering wheel. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, that's an M3 steering wheel. Oh, okay. two M3 steering wheel. Brakes are good because the car is so light. It brakes a lot earlier than you think. <laughs> it is pretty low, right? It's uh, it's more of an appearance. We we're gonna put a carbon fiber lip, but if we had the carbon fiber lip, that would be three blocks away now on the floor. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. we we chose not it's to put a lip good. on it. It's more looks wise, especially it's on H and R springs. Oh, that sound. Yep. And the it's in tone. comfort. It's really nice. It's in comfort mode. So it, so when you put it on M in MDM, the throttle becomes a lot more sensitive. Therefore, it wakes up the, the exhaust a lot more too. Right. Everything works. The turn signal. All that yeah. Stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's fun. All right. This is a legit a German muscle car. Okay. I see why you guys did this. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So how do you like it? I absolutely love this. I loved it so much, we lost Tyler. All right, so now it's on dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> that first gear pulled. <laughs> this is crazy. Yep, that's what, we, that's what we're looking for. That's this the reaction that we want. absolutely amazing. All right. You'll get arrested in this car really easy. Yeah, yeah. This thing is out of control. Yep. I mean, it accelerates so fast. That's kind of the thing is I had a E92 M3 press car and I liked it and it was kind of one of those things where I honestly felt like I could drive it flat footed all the time. But because this is so much lighter weight, it's really nice. I really like it. Man, you guys knocked it out of the park for sure. Thank you so much. Really, <laughs> I really appreciate that. I love this thing. Plus, on top of that, nice. this thing is just so easy to drive. Slow. So, like, as a daily, this would be amazing. Oh, this, this would, would be, be the ultimate daily. This would be perfect as a daily driver. This would be a scary daily. Yeah. And that's kind of the thing, is it's under the radar, you know? Like, mm -hmm. nobody will look at you twice at all in this car. No, until they hear it. Until they hear it. Thank you so much for showing this thing to us. No, thanks it's for having us. Thanks beautiful. for checking out Masterclass. And that's kind of the point is it looks stock. Yep. And to the untrained eye, it's just a one series. These are kind of the builds that I really enjoy, that I really think is just so cool. How much effort you went into to make it look like it's untouched. Thank you, thank you. We, we all appreciate that. Uh, at ASG and Masterclass, we wanted to make sure that this was a car that when people see it, you know, they feel like it was something that BMW would have made. It's a shame they never did. We're pretty sure they did, and it's in the vaults locked away. 
because it was just too good. Yeah, BMW may not have made it, but that doesn't matter because you guys made it and it is awesome. Thank you, thank you very much.